Getting started with Microsoft Office 2010. Microsoft Office 2010 is a group of software programs or productivity software suite designed to help you create documents, collaborate with coworkers, and track and analyze information. As you see, there are various different programs for this suite. You have Microsoft Access 2010, Microsoft PowerPoint 2010, Excel, OneNote, Outlook, Publisher, and Word 2010. Of course, the most commonly used is Word 2010, Excel, and PowerPoint, but then you have also Outlook for email and so on. So each program here is designed so you can easily and quickly work to create professional looking results. You can use different office programs to accomplish specific tasks such as for writing a document and uh, creating a proposal in a business environment you'd, you'd use Microsoft Word 2010. For creating a budget and working with uh, different types of calculations you'd use Excel 2010. For creating a pro presenting something you'd use PowerPoint to keep track of invoices and inventory and running a business you'd use access to create a publication of some sort like a newsletter or uh, cards, business cards and different types of designs you'd use Publisher 2010. And of course for correspondence, for email, keeping contacts, calendaring and all that, that type of stuff you'd use Outlook, Microsoft Outlook. All these programs have common features. The interface is common across all the programs. As you'll see here, for example, this is Word 2010. And of course, now you have the file menu. But then you have these different tabs and the Office ribbon that is referred. This whole section here is the Office ribbon. So you have the Home tab, the Insert tab, or you'd insert different components depending on the program that you're using within Office then the layout tab with all the subsections here the references mailings review and so on notice the same thing it's available or similar things are available in excel so if we go to excel at this point it's the same type of interface so you have the quick access toolbar here on the very top but then you have the different tabs very similar to like what we saw in microsoft word if we switch to PowerPoint, same or similar things. If we switch to Microsoft Access, once you open a database, for example, it's the same type of interface. So as you can see, the common component in the Office suite, and that's part of it why it's referred to as a suite, is the interface in this case. So the interface, it's common across all programs. The second feature is that um, these different programs, when you create data and files in each one of those programs, the data from each program can be used easily and interchangeably across the different programs. What we mean by that is that if you create an Excel spreadsheet, then you can use the data from Excel in Microsoft Word to create, for example, a mail merge. Or you can use the Excel data that you create in Excel in Microsoft Access to create a table or to import the data into a table in Microsoft Access. Then you can use, for example, the data from an Access database through Microsoft Word to create a mail merge or an email merge in conjunction with Microsoft Outlook. You can use, for example, PowerPoint data from an Excel spreadsheet to display it in PowerPoint so that you can share it with an audience. So that's the second feature that makes the data or makes these programs work together and interact together and make them part of a suite. So as you can see again, you have common features in the way the programs look and work, and then also common components of the data that interact with each program. So let's look at some of the additional features here in uh, Office 2010. And I'll go quickly through a couple of the things here. It, on the very top here you have the quick access toolbar. The quick access toolbar basically what that is, is is that as you're working on different things, for example you're saving a document or you're undoing something, you can add different icons in here. So if you're constantly, for example, inserting a picture, instead of you having to click on insert and then picture, 
you can simply right click on this button here on this function and choose to, to add it to quick access toolbar. Now notice this will always be here on the quick access toolbar. And then whenever you want to insert something, you don't have to go under insert and then choose picture, but you have it here. Let's say you are always changing the margins on a document. So if we click on page layout here and then choose margins, you could simply right click, add to quick access toolbar, it will always be listed here. Another feature that is common through all the programs, among others, it's uh, this zooming capability here in the bottom. So if you're working with different things, you can make the document uh, larger or smaller. One third common feature as well is the use of styles and we'll look through this as we go through the different programs here but to make things easier so for example the use of styles here if I have uh, some text here and I want to format this to make it uh, look kind of nice I have two choices I either select the text and then format this to what I want to format it make the text larger and make it bold and underline it and all that type of stuff or I could use one of the styles predefined in the computer now and later we'll show how to create styles here but let's say at this point I want to create a title so I could simply click on the title style and then it's formatted accordingly automatically similar thing if we go to Excel depending on what you're doing you have styles for example for conditional formatting you have styles for formatting a table a certain way formatting certain cells a certain way and that type of thing if you go to PowerPoint under the home tab for example or under the, depends on what you're doing you have different styles for certain components and the styles can be based on contextual tools or what's referred contextual tools basically whatever you're doing in the context in that specific context that's when it's going to give you the different styles for it uh, for that specific tool so for example here I'm working with a picture it's going to give me the styles for the picture if I'm working with smart art then it's going to give me the styles for working with smart art or other types of tools out there that you're using in the program so just keep that in mind that there are styles that you can use across all the programs. And since this is a computer concepts course, a couple of things as far as uh, pricing. Of course, Microsoft Office 2010, it's uh, considered the best product at this time for business out there. However, it comes with a price. So if you notice, for example, the um, Office 2010 here, and I'm doing some pricing so you get an idea, the home and student edition it's $150 in the US here and the home and student does not come with Microsoft Access or Publisher so it comes with only Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote. Then you have um, Office, Home and Business which is $279 and this comes with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote and Outlook and notice this is for one user or one PC in the business. So the business rule here, the rule is for each computer in the business, you'd have to purchase a separate license. And the key component in Office 2010, if you're going to run a business, is Microsoft Access. And Microsoft Access comes from a part of uh, Office Professional, which costs $500 for one user with two PCs but in a business environment you need one license for each computer so with that you'd get pretty much the whole office here with so basically an office professional it costs it's pretty costly for multiple users in the business so you'd need to find out what product is best for your needs as I mentioned earlier office professional comes with all the components such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Access and Publisher so what other alternatives are out there since uh, you'll most likely become a business student you'll run your own business or work in a corporate environment it is important to use the right product for the right price so that you're successful successful in your business so there are other products out there may, they may not do a hundred percent of what Microsoft Office does but since this is a computer uh, concepts course 
it is kind of important that we know what other alternatives are out there. So as of the time of this recording, there are other programs like open source uh, office programs out there, such as OpenOffice. It's a free and open source productivity software. It has all the components very similar to my Microsoft Office, and I would say it does pretty much 80 to 90% of everything that Office does. Another alternative, open source, is um, Home. It's the LibreOffice, and this has options and components very similar to um, like the Writer Calc. It's uh, similar to Excel impress it's similar to powerpoint and all that type of stuff and then of course cloud-based solutions as well and other cloud-based uh, we have here the google apps and this comes part of your account at cairn with eagle mail and eagle docs and here you can create the docs it's for creating documents sheets it's for spreadsheets program applications slides it's to create uh, presentations online and so on. There are other solutions from Microsoft like such as um, Office 365 online and other solutions out there online as well. There are alternatives out there and as we go through this course I'm gonna touch on some so this is basically getting um, just getting started with it. Some of the common compo components, some of the core features out there. So I'd strongly recommend that we go through each one of the other programs and then learn about the individual features in each individual program.